Hey my darlings, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm just making brunch now for me and my husband. I'm making this fruit platter. If you follow me on Instagram, you're likely to have seen this already in my stories. Today I'm going with this yogurt. It's a vegan coconut yogurt. I really like it. It's pretty neutral. It doesn't have a taste. I would say it is like water, really plain. <laughs> but it's a lot better than the other ones. I hate the almond ones and there is this other flavor. I just can't stand it. But this one is okay because it doesn't really have a taste that is disturbing. On days where I don't want to use so much dairy, I would go in with this instead. Hey my darlings, so I just finished having brunch and I really enjoy making this fruit platter. It's just like a nice way to enjoy your fruits. It does take a little bit more time than just cutting up your fruit and just tossing them in a bowl. So I don't make it as often. So like maybe once every couple weeks or so I would make it. But yeah, and yeah, I just feel more energized right now. I've been up since morning and I've gotten quite a bit done in the office in terms of at my desk. I never really film so much when I'm in the office because my husband is in home office, so he's usually there. And I try to be very quiet and not disturb him, which is why you guys don't see me filming whenever I'm in the office, whether I'm editing or just doing stuff on my computer and stuff like that. But yeah, I have driving class later so i need to get ready for that and you guys can see my hair i did go over it i'm gonna tell you guys because i know you guys are curious to find out how is it holding up did it last so this was the last video i showed you guys of me straightening my hair with the time of hair straightener and i know you guys want to know how long it lasts guys it doesn't last long it's not gonna last you a week it's not even gonna last you for three days so i did this on monday so the video you saw last monday i did it um the same day that i uploaded the video and this is just a couple days since then because this is the time confusion because of youtube upload dates compared to when i'm actually filming so i'm in the same week when i when i flat ironed my hair and today's thursday and you guys can see how it's looking and i actually ran over it this morning i used the the time ring this morning to just like i took big chunks like this and just kind of do it like this to make it lay down a little bit more it was looking a lot more laid down 
um, a few hours ago because I did it earlier today and now it's looking all poofy again. I like it. I like the volume that it gives me when it's laying like this but it's not so flat. But I will tell you guys it's not something that's gonna give you a nice silk press that is laid down as if you went to a professional salon or something. So if you want that look you would need to either get the right tool. I think you should normally use a titanium plate iron for that and that would give you a more sleek look for our type natural hair or you just go to a professional and have them do it for you so this is gonna give you more like a blowout look so the first day after i did the silk press the following day it was already looking really frizzy really poofy so it wasn't laying like you guys saw saw it in the in the video it wasn't laying as smooth as that no i wrapped it the night of the video and when i woke up the morning it was a lot more poofy than i expected so i would say i'm not totally disappointed because i know my hair was it is virgin hair in the terms that it's not yet been flat ironed before so i guess if you're someone who has flat ironed their hair before then it would be a lot different for you it comes out a lot straighter but since my hair has never been flat ironed since it's been natural i can understand why it would behave like this but of course after flat ironing a couple times then you would start to destroy the the, the protein makeup of your hair and that would cause it to not bounce back as it's doing right now so it does give a difference i can feel the difference it looks like really lighter and a lot more manageable i've been just brushing it the entire time but it doesn't give you that sleek silk press look so if that's what you're looking for maybe this is not the right tool but if you want something that give you a little bit more of a lighter look and you can play around with it and maybe you can do a sleeker bun a lot quicker then you can try it out Hey guys, it's summer if you head out now for class. My hair is still poofy, but I'm just wearing it like this. When I get there, I might just pin it back. I have a hair tie here that I might need to put around it. And I'm just wearing just a black turtleneck, high-waisted jeans, and I'm gonna put on my boots. And this is what my vest looks like. I think I can link this down in the description for you guys because I think they might still have some. So yeah. guys it's friday afternoon and i'm just coming on here and i want to give you guys a little tour of my fall decor and maybe a little tour of the living room area i did show this a little bit on my stories already but i know that not all of you guys are on my instagram but if you're not and you want to see what i post um during the week you can always follow me at maram kareen um so today i want to show you guys what i've done you guys can see a little bit of it already in the background i didn't go like extravagant and i want to give you guys also this i want to give you guys the concept that i use in decorating for fall because this is actually my first time decorating for fall and uh, yeah i was even contemplating if i wanted to do it any at all or just skip it all together because fall is not that big of a holiday like it is like like christmas is especially here in germany people don't really decorate for fall and when i went in the stores there were just not so many things um on display for fall decor so but i still wanted to do a decor especially since i've never done it before and i kind of like the fall colors i think they fit really nicely to my home and i just wanted the change of environment and everything while still being in the same area but i did not want to break the bank so i did have a budget and that's basically what i want to share with you guys as well as i show you guys this tour so you guys can 
know that you can also do a little decorating and not go overboard with it because sometimes we see people doing this all out extravagant decorating and we have to also bear in mind that they may have accumulated these things over several years if it's your first year decorating like myself you need to be realistic about it and not think you're gonna have to buy everything all at once to have this completely fall decorated house in just one go so what i did was i made a budget of 50 euros i wanted to spend no more than 50 euros for my fall decor i did go over a little bit but it was not so bad i went like i think maybe seven euros over so that was not really to count so imagine if i had not made a budget i think i would have gone way up because i did not buy everything that i thought that i wanted in my decor you know like i wanted like to have the pumpkins and everything like that but i did not buy them i just chose a few pieces that i thought that i really liked and pieces that i would see myself using again year after year to decorate my home and yeah and just kept it within my budget so hopefully if the lord wills it next year then i can buy a little bit more i'll be able to accumulate some nice um quality pieces for myself because that's one of the tips i want to give you guys i think it's better to buy things that you really like it doesn't matter about the price you can find things that you really like that are really cheap or sometimes you might have to pay a little bit more for them um based on the quality but you can use it year after year rather than just buying something that you don't really like you just got it because you're thinking temporary and you don't like it the following year but you still wasted five dollars on it if you get what i'm saying so i did spend a little bit for like this thing that i'm sitting on but it's something that i really like and i think it looks really lovely and just locks in my home and it's something that i know i'm gonna be loving for years to come when i'm decorating um at this time of year so i'm gonna go ahead now and show you guys and just give you guys a whole tour of this area and the setup and everything so this is a scope of the living area if you've been watching my video for a while this would be nothing new to you i think you've seen bits and pieces here and there but this is the first time i'm gonna actually dedicate a section of the video to just showing you guys the living area and look at the colors guys it looks so lovely i'm so in awe i'm so excited and so happy how this turned out considering that i didn't do so much so i'm just giving you guys um the view of the living area from different angles and then i'm gonna zoom in and show you guys the individual pieces that i bought for fall and just give you guys some details about them where i bought them and i'll be also linking them in the description box the things that i can actually find to be honest because i do believe this um blanket is out i think i got the last one i'm so sorry guys but it's such a lovely blanket and i had to take it it has a really expensive look and the quality is just so nice but i must say it did use up more than half of the budget because the budget was 50 euros like i said and this blanket alone was 35 euros but it was totally worth it and i'm just really pleased with it so these are the flowers that i bought for the fall season I must say the plants were not included in the fall budget because I would usually buy a certain amount of plants per month anyways so I did not count the purchase of the plants in this fall budget. I would usually buy plants so I just bought um, fall colored plants for this month instead of just like roses or just something that I would usually buy for my vase. I got this really beautiful magenta colored orchid and this um, pot plant that fits perfectly to it. So we have like a u-shaped couch and it is just so lovely and so comfortable the color and everything is just so beautiful as you guys can see i've covered it because i just can't take the risk because the color is so light and i'm not able to take off the covers and wash them or anything like that so i just decided to use these really light um, blankets that match the color of the couch and i think they fit perfectly fine to it I want to show you guys now the cushion covers that I bought. So this one right here at the back behind this white fluffy one is one of them. And this one here is another one. So the other beige and pale brown cushion covers were already on my couch. I just changed out a few of the cushion covers. So these other two i bought them on amazon i'll link them in the description box and this one with a little bit more texture i bought um at ikea and the blanket guys is 
so beautiful it's a two-colored blanket the one side of the blanket is completely burnt orange and the other side is completely this nice chocolate brown if i were using dark brown cushion covers this year then i would use the blanket on the burnt orange side so i just love the versatility i love the option that it gives me so i can just flip it over if i get tired of one side and use the other side instead so another closer look at the coffee table here i have this candle that i bought from ikea as well it smells really good i just leave it open in the room and when i enter the living room i would just smell this really nice soft scent in the room as you guys can see i didn't buy a lot of things for my decor i just got the blanket and the cushion covers just three cushion covers but I think the way how I chose the items to buy this year make it looks a lot fuller and like I did a lot more than I actually did because I just bought a few items but the items that I bought they took up space as you guys can see. I bought this big blanket that takes up a good amount of space so when you, when you walk in the room you get that feeling right away. And then the cushion covers I would say they're also easy items to take up a good amount of space. I'm just focusing on this area which is why I'm only giving you a tour of this area because there's just something interesting here like something new here if you want me to give you guys a tour down there maybe do that for another video but let me know thumbs up this video if you would like to see that as you guys can see i love to decorate with plants i love having green plants in my home it just gives this really nice warm and homey feeling over here we have our entertainment center so this is the lovely big TV that we recently bought. And this sideboard has been in my husband's family for maybe a century. So when we got here, we were looking for something that had really good, massive, strong, sturdy quality wood. And we just could not find something that we really liked with this dark wood that didn't look so modern. The style of our home is somewhat modern, traditional or modern, transitional, somewhere in between there. So we do love having antique pieces, more vintage pieces in the home instead of just completely modern um, touch especially for this space we just think it fits so much better in this space so we were out looking for sideboards for the longest time and just totally overlooking this baby that was right in front of us well, not really right in front of us it was kind of in the storage area so we just kind of took it out dusted off and it's just perfect right there you guys can see the radiator behind it um yeah we wanted something a little bit higher and that was one of the reasons why we didn't opt for this sideboard initially but we just love it there now we can't see ourselves using something else apart from this we just think it fits so perfectly and it just gives that nice contrast between modern touch and more antique touch to the room and this is our fireplace we went for something a bit more modern and we had to shop a bit around for this because we needed one that had the perfect size for this particular room as you guys can see there is not a big space from the tv area to the couch so we needed to have one that was not too thick this is a designer that we bought it from in case you're in germany and you're looking for a lovely modern fireplace because winter is coming guys finished book club we had taken a long break so we didn't have a meeting i think for like two months so pretty much the entire summer we didn't have a meeting so we just resumed it today and we're diving into this really interesting book i'm going to show you guys that in a minute i need to take you guys outside my husband is out there putting on the finishing bits of the roof he has done so much in the past couple days it's been raining a lot so he's not able to work on it as quickly and frequently as he would like to but today the weather is really nice so we're able to go out there just having this ferro rocher ice cream i had my mind on it the entire time in the meeting <laughs>
and this is the book that we're currently reading it's written by pastor dion thomas and it's called 21 days choosing mr right so to all my single ladies while you're there waiting on your mr right i highly recommend you guys read this book you know getting married is not a joke it's one of the most important decisions that you'll ever make in your entire life and we don't want to go about that flippantly because who we choose to marry has a great effect on whether we walk in our purpose or not and you guys know i'm big on purpose of course this is not a sponsored feature i know pastor dion personally and they didn't ask me to share this but like you guys know i always share whatever book i'm currently reading in our book club so i will be leaving this one in the description box for you guys you can check it out It's mighty cold right now, so I have to go and put on this sweater. And yeah, this is how it looks. This really big one. I got it from Japan. Showed it in my lucky bag video for those of you who are here from this long time. But this is a really nice sweater that I like to cuddle up in while I'm in the house or if I'm going to a friend's or a house party or something. We're just going to be in the house kind of cuddly. I always take this sweater with me. So comfy. Sherilyn Darling, this is the one that I have on, Essie Wicked, but I think I want to try this. I just like the name, I'm getting a base coat here. So for my white hands guys, I didn't moisturize. So I'm taking the Essie here to stay. I know I need a pencil for my eyebrows. like the dark brown pencils I really hate it when it's too black or when it's light brown that's also not good I always take a number two pencil brown and this is the rival Kajal pen I just take all of these in the mood to take back the empty bottles so i didn't empty these today i just left them there but the next time we go to the supermarket we'll just take these back so i just bought two cases of water today and all of these are like empty bottles so yeah and some soda in these ones here's where i have my onions and my avocados ginger which i used to make my ginger tea or cook with potatoes and a tiny pumpkin some wine down here not gonna show you guys a full tour of this tonight because it needs to tidy up like it's not up to my standard like look up here it's just like oh it was all chaos so maybe another time i'll probably show you guys when i'm rearranging it when i'm doing it from the beginning to the end my hair looks like it's relaxed and it's due for a redo that's exactly how it's been looking like i said you guys see me looking at it right now because the ends of it or the shaft of it still looks a bit straight but the roots no it's not holding up but yeah so um i'm pretty much done with everything that i need to do for today i won't be cooking tonight we ordered indian food so i'll be here shortly in about 10 minutes or so um yeah i'm just gonna go and sit and watch tv with my husband and i want to show you guys the living room at night time when the lights are on back when the by the candle lights and the low lights with just my fall vibe so i'm just pretty much ending this video right now i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did as always please be sure to give it a thumbs up i always love making these videos but it's always encouraging when i see you guys engage with the video and that you enjoy it it's just more motivation to continue making them so thank you all so so much for watching and i wish you all a beautiful and best day
this is our food guys i know it's a lot of food but we normally just eat and then we just leave over some for tomorrow 